Hey everybody, Buck's Gear Box. Welcome to the table. Today I have an interesting uh, key ring tool from Civivi. Uh, everybody kind of knows Civivi these days as a maker of very, very good budget knives. And I wanted to show you this new tool. It's been out for a little bit now. I've had it for about two weeks and really have used it. You know, some of the Civivi knives that I own uh, have been just great. And again, very budget friendly. Um, that was the Odium. This is the Appalachian Drifter slip joint, which I have to be careful. I've cut myself with this one a couple of times because I'm not used to slip joints anymore. But great knives. That is some great fit and finish on this guy. Uh, Wee Knives is the parent company for Civivi. A little uh, less of a budget line but still not super expensive, most of them. This is the Wee Banter, great little knife. But yeah, uh, they have started to come out with different kinds of tools here lately. Pardon my shaking, I just worked out a little bit ago and I'm still feeling it. And this is the Civivi Key Bit, that's what they call it, the Key Bit. And this thing is pretty cool. So uh, basically it's a Torx screwdriver set that obviously fits in your pocket because it goes on your key ring. And it comes with two bits. Well, really just a, one bit that's double-sided and it's magnetized in there and it pops in and out like that. Uh, it's got a T8 and a T6, which are, you know, the most common, uh, typically used um, screws that are on pocket knives, folding knives. And uh, so this is a very kind of a specialized tool that's kind of what this is for. And uh, I have to say, I was a little bit skepti skeptical because it's a little bit pricey for such a small tool. It's about $42. But um, I have used it so many times that I have to kind of give it a recommendation. Uh, I've used it quite a bit. I don't know why my lighting is terrible. I need to work on that, sorry. Um, but this housing is titanium. Uh, the, the bit is made out of steel and the key ring that comes with it is also made out of steel. This is uh, designed, has a designer's name on it by Ostep Hell. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so please forgive me if I am not. And I gotta say, yes, I have used this thing quite a bit. It weighs uh, 0.6 ounces. It's a little over one and a half inches long and it absolutely fits on your keychain and you can have a little pocket screwdriver pretty much wherever you go. Um, just to demonstrate that it actually does work. Um, I've got my QSB Penguin here. These uh, body screws are T6. Definitely, definitely works well. Um, so it grabs pretty good. And uh, then the pivot, er, oh, sorry. It is a little tricky to get in and out of that thing. Maybe just need some oil or something. Pivot is a T8, and uh, this knife didn't really need adjusting. But there you have it. I'm really having to dig in. I think I might have some Loctite in there. But, yep, that's my QSP Penguin. That was a great knife. Anyway, so it works. It works well. Uh, I've used it way more than I thought I would use it. Oh, by the way, this comes with, this has a little rubber uh, O-ring right there to kind of seal the cap on and, and give it some, uh, uh, just makes it softer there. When you close it, it gives it a little bit of more, more of a seal. And it came with five extra ones of those in case you lose this one or break it, which I thought was a nice touch. They didn't have to do that. I've already lost... <laughs> Uh, I thought I'd put them back in the box, uh, but I've already lost that little bag of of, uh, of rings, but it's no big deal. Uh, where did I put the lid? Oh, there it is. This thing is pretty awesome. I just thought uh, one more little quick thing I would do, um, because this is a very simple video, I wanted to be quick, is just throw it on the keychain so you kind of see how it fits. This is my little messy set of keys right here. And uh, you, what, what I found is you can actually use your keys to give you a little more leverage on the screwdriver itself. And that's kind of cool. I don't know if that was intentional, uh, but it does. It gives you more to hold on to. It's almost like having a lanyard on your knife. <clears throat> uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, the only thing, the only ding that I can give this thing 
is, um, well, it just seems a little pricey for what it is. I don't know. Um, I'm not in the, the knife industry or the, the EDC uh, business making side of things, but $42 seems kind of steep for such a little tool, but I've used it so much. So I'm a little torn on that. Um, so I can definitely give it my recommendation if you are looking for something very specifically like this. Um, I'm assuming you could use other bits in there as well. Although that obviously your mileage may vary. It is magnetized. I should have said that before. So um, it stays in pretty well. And uh, yeah, that is a little bit of an overview unboxing of this VV key bit um, keychain tool. And I hope this has helped you. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you kind of like the idea of this thing or you don't. Again, your mileage may vary. This is a very subjective little gadget here, I think. Uh, some people are going to love it. Some people are going to be like, that's too expensive for a little tiny screwdriver. All right. It is, you know, specifically for pocket knives. So I think they, they nailed the intention pretty well. There you go. Uh, that's, uh, that's it for me. I think we're done here. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.